Good afternoon, uh, noon, everyone. It's time for spring cleaning for the Dallas Cowboys. Spring cleaning. See this? See Dallas right there. It's time for spring cleaning. Uh, free agency is going on right now. Uh, we've lost a few players. We lost um, Biotish, uh, I think, to Washington, and we lost um, Tony Pollard to Tennessee, which I'm not too happy about. Uh, I just came back from um, a trip I did yesterday in Baton Rouge. I had to take Florida State University over there and everything. Just came back. And um, I got to go to work tomorrow and take, pick up Florida State from Jacksonville. Then after that, headed to, headed to uh, Kissimmee, Florida, to, um, to own a family, family get-together and relaxation. And while I'm down there, I'm probably going to talk about football and everything and, uh, and, and talk about football and stuff and, and talk about how, uh, how to talk about life and everything. Um, um, uh, and probably do a little bit of painting and everything and stuff uh, and, and talk about things like that. That was uh, when those... Those people come by in their trucks and have clean, uh, whatever you call them, yard machines and, and everything and stuff, making all kind of racket. But uh, while we're down in Kissimmee, I probably will be um, uh, do do a little painting and everything, working on that uh, my painting that I was working on with. Um, it's a it's a painting with it's three paintings in one, and the painting is about Roger Staubach uh, in Dallas, and he's handing the ball off to. To uh, Tony Darsett, which he's at the University of Pittsburgh, where he won a national championship in 1976 and uh, broke every college rush rushing record, ran for 200 plus yards twice against Notre Dame, and beat Georgia in the uh, Sugar Bowl that year, that same year, and ran for 200 plus yards against them. And um, and his record stood until uh, Ricky Williams broke the record in the 90s, whatever that was, whenever that was, it stood that long. And he helped us, helped our Dallas Cowboys win a world championship uh, the very next year, 1977, running for 1,000, I believe, seven yards rushing and rook every year. And our, and, our, and our greatest Dallas Cowboy team ever been assembled, the Doomsday 2 defense, with the great Randy White and Harvey Martin was co-MVPs. And I'm doing a painting about him and then, I'm, and then within the painting, and it's Drew Pearson catching the Hail Mary pass against Minnesota in 1975 playoff game up in, uh, uh, it, it was either a Bloomington, uh, Minnesota, either, um, uh, wherever city it was in Minnesota. That's what I believe it was Bloomington, Minnesota, where, they, where the game was played at. And um, Bud Grant was the head coach for uh, Minnesota. They had uh, the Purple People Eaters defense, which was one of the greatest teams that they, they did not go to the Super Bowl. They was a great team. They had Allen Page and all those great players. And, uh, and, and a guy named Marshall. They was, had a great front seven. Well, Dallas came in the game as underdogs and should have lost and won 17-14 with Roger Starback throwing a 50-yard yard touchdown pass to the great uh, of number 88, uh, Mr. Clutch, Drew Pearson, to, to win the game. So that's, that's, um, that was what it, the game was about. Uh, that's what the uh, game was about, and that's what the picture is about. Um, and the painting that I'm working on. And um, so getting back to the main subject is spring cleaning. Spring cleaning. Can the Dallas Cowboys, um, I'm standing around all these beautiful trees and everything and showing uh, how beautiful it is out here and everything and um, looking at uh, the trees and the moss and the water and everything and nature and all that. But it's time for spring cleaning for the Dallas Cowboys to get it together. Spring cleaning. And um, and in spring cleaning, that means you you do away with things that you don't need anymore that you've been uh, that's not uh, keeping the house clean. And the Dallas Cowboys right now, our house is really dirty. The house needs cleaning, and we need some we need repairing. But the problem lies with the front office people. Um, the front office pe uh, people, Jerry Wayne Jones and Stephen Jones, refuse to build something great with the great Dallas Cowboys. They're refusing to do what's special. So there you have it. This is Dallas Sports 1977 coming to you here in Southwood, hoping that 
things going to get better for us and everything. I would not put my hopes in this team. Um, I, would, I don't trust the uh, owner. I don't trust how they're doing and everything. But we should, as Dallas Cowboy fans, we should be used to them doing us this way. So I want to speak blessings and love to everyone. Put God in your life. Love one another. Be encouraged. And I thank you, Lord, for my wonderful, beautiful wife, Winona, and my two wonderful boys, uh, Micah, Aaron, and D'Angelo. And pray for my mother. She's in uh, rehab right now. She's 85 years old. Pray for her and everything, and for her health and everything. She has dementia. But God bless you. Put God in your love, life. Love one another. Be encouraged. I love everybody. This is, like I said, Dallas Sports, 1977. Coming to you here in Southwood. Take care. God bless you. I love you. Take care. Bye-bye.